Alfie Vente here once again at Vente Pain Relief Clinic with another clinical tip and trick. Today we're going to do, as promised last week, we are going to do a fascial experiment. This will be pretty cool. It, it sounds insane uh, the way I'm, I'm going to describe it, but first we have a couple of announcements. So don't forget to register for our free upcoming webinar in October. There's more details on our website, so register there. Uh, also, next week on Clinical Tip and Trick, we will go back to business practice building mode. I haven't uh, determined the subject yet. So now we are going to talk about this so-called experiment. First off, yes, it sounds insane the way that I'm describing it, if you've never done this before, um, but it is a very cool thing to watch and feel when you, when you see it for your own eyes. So we have here Skelly, as you can see, he's wearing shorts. I could not find another human being to, to, to volunteer for this. And I think the big reason is that um, nobody really wanted to show their foot, callus, uh, foot calluses uh, because you need somebody that has a callus on the bottom of their foot. Okay, so for this experiment, what you are going to do is you're going to find an individual, maybe an, a fellow therapist, and this fellow therapist is going to have very tight calves, very tight hamstrings, very tight glutes, especially on the one side. The other key thing, and you need this, is that this person needs to have a callus on the head of the fifth metatarsal. Right here you can see the plantar aspect of uh, Skelly here. You notice that I, I taped him up in black. Okay? The bigger the callus, the thicker the callus, the better. And if it's thicker than say if they've got two calluses, one on um, the left and one on the right, you want to go for the one that's the more that, that, that's that's thicker than the other. All right? So this is how this experiment's gonna work. This person's gonna lie flat on their stomach, like Skelly right here, because he's wearing shorts uh, for this experiment. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the knee, but first before you, you do all of this, you're gonna actually feel around the calf, feel around the hamstring, feel around the glute to see how tight those areas are. You're also going to feel around the fascia around the bottom of the foot, the plantar aspect of the foot. You're going to see how mobile the fascia is by pulling on the tissues. Once you've assessed and figured out how tight this individual is with their calf, hamstrings and glutes and the bottom of their foot, you are going to take a look at their foot. You're going to find the callus on the lateral side of their foot on the uh, plantar aspect here of the fifth metatarsal. And what you're going to do is you are going to pry away at that callus, that thickened area. You're going to keep doing this until the callus seems like it's more mobile and it's not as hard and thick because you'll notice that it'll soften up. Now the idea behind this is that I want you guys to see that there could be areas where fascia is really concentrated, where it's very, very, very tight and it can affect areas above, up the chain. So You'll notice that once this thing actually loosens up, once you're able to mobilize this tissue as small as it, it could be the size of your thumb, um, it could be really, really thick, but once you notice more mobility, what I want you to do next is I want you to feel around the plantar aspect of the person's foot, and you should notice that it's softer and it's more mobile. You're gonna feel around the calf, the hamstrings, and the glutes. If it's softened up enough and it's more mobile, the callus that is, you should notice a big change in the way the calf feels, the hamstrings feels, and the glutes feel. There should be more mobility. It sounds crazy, but I've done this enough times with patients, and uh, there are some dramatic effects with this. So that's an experiment you could try, um, see what happens when you mobilize that callus. Again, the point is that fascia can get very, very stuck in a particular spot. It could be so small, the size of your thumb, uh, that it can affect things above. But if you loosen it up, the person will feel more of a dramatic change because you could dig into the hamstrings, dig into the glutes, dig into the calves, and still feel that there aren't much changes. But if you can pinpoint these areas where the, the fascia is really, really stuck, you should notice more of a dramatic change. If you've got questions about this, feel free to message me on Facebook or email me at admin at ventapainrelief.ca. So just remember, we have that upcoming free webinar in October. Register on our website. Uh, click on the link. Also next week, don't forget we have clinical tip and trick and we're going back into the business pra uh, practice building mode. 
uh, every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Tune in. Alfie again here at Vente Pain Relief Clinic. Have yourself a great day. Take care.